hits out of every 10 balls, and that's an all-star. The average hitter only gets two and a half hits, even less, okay, in a season. The average right now is 240. It might even be 235. So that's all the highs and the lows. Back to normal. I point to you guys, Lorenzo, my point is, you can't get mad, hey, you can't get mad if you don't put the bat on the ball. You're not going to win every battle. You're not going to win every pitch. And you're not going to win every game. This is not a game of life. You don't, you don't die if you don't get a hit. So we don't need to make that bigger. We need to make it fun. And the bottom line, I was, I was bad, guys. Lorenzo, I was bad. I was throwing my bag, I throw my helmet, right? But when I got a hit, I wanted to high five everybody. And after a while, they didn't want to high five me. How come? What do you think? What's that? Okay. What do, what do you parents answer that question? Just for sport. For, for, Sick of, sick of his attitude. Yeah, so, so hey, he's only a nice guy uh, when he has kids. He's only a nice guy when he gets as well. He's only a nice guy when he gets the ball. So that's not how we judge character. How we judge character is when you don't catch the ball all the time, you have the same demeanor, like you're still okay. So we don't want to get too high, too happy. We don't want to get too sad. We just want to be loved. So when my son played three home runs in the game, he was not loved. Three strikeouts in the game, he was not loved. Right? So the people that are going to give you recognition are mom and dad. They'll always be there. And your teammates or your peers, which means the other players, will tell you how good you are. You don't have to tell yourself. Because if you're good, they'll let you know. Does that make sense? So throw in a bat. Guys, I threw a bat when I was 19 to play 12 ball with the bat. What do you think I set off to everybody, 5,000 people in the stands? What do they think about it? What do you think? What's that? Like, I don't like that guy. But they don't know me. They don't even know who I am. But what I just did, they're going to decide if I'm a good guy or a bad guy. Is that fair? Yeah? So if you threw your bad or you got bad in a game, and somebody you don't know comes to a game and he says, God, that guy's a, he's a car breaker, that guy. He's the front runner of that guy, but he don't even know you. I don't want nobody to judge me without knowing me. Right? Does that make sense? So yes, we're going to have bad days. It's okay. You still get to go home, have a roof over your head, you're still getting three meals, mom's still going to kiss you, love you, hold you. Is that true? Dad's going to love you. But the bottom line, you got to be good. Not sometimes, just be all the time. That's called being a good teammate. That was one of my absolutes. One thing you had to do on my team. If you were a bad teammate, I didn't want you on my team. Because this is an individual by yourself, but it's a team sport. So if you bring my team down by always being down or only being happy when you do good but not for the team, that's the guy I don't want. So that, all I'm doing is talking to you guys pretty much about that sportsmanship. It's okay. If, if you have a bad game, Luciano, you come over there and say, okay, you change, you can, that's what teammates do. And if you have a bad game, or you have a bad at bat, guess what? You get to do it. You get to have another at bat. So you're always going to have this opportunity to play because some people your age don't get to play. They want to play, and they don't get to play. 
because they have handicaps. Maybe they don't have legs. Maybe they don't have arms. Maybe they can't see. So this is the blessing of playing the game. This is not a right to play. This is the blessing that we can play. Just always remember that. Hey, we're playing the most defeated game that we're ever playing. Two and a half times you're going to get on base in the big leagues. And you're a big leaguer. That means you're getting out seven and a half times. You guys are better because guys don't catch the ball the same they do in the big leagues. So listen, this is what we call peaks and valleys. You're going to go in the valley and you're going to go to the peak. And when you have the peak, it's because you're not thinking. We call it the zone. And then when you go in the valley, all hysterical breaks up. Alright, wow, blah, 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 blah. it's everything. Your fault, your fault, your fault, my fault. The coach is bad. I don't like the coach. I don't want to have to do that. And you work, and you work. And there's days that it's crazy for you, and days that it's crazy for you. So how do you control that? Your experience is going to help you control that. Kids are going through that. This is a part of going. This is a part of you're going to fall. It's how you get up. That's the whole key of life. Some people don't want to get up. They want to blame everybody. But people like you get up, you dust yourself off, and you say, what can I do that? How can I help you? And that's my speech. You ready? Let's go. Are you videoing right now? Yes. I missed the first two. One more time. Can you hit a ground ball? To the middle. You gotta swing down. Okay, do it again. Take, listen, it's to take your normal stride, do your normal low, do everything you say. Just hit on top of the ball. Swing down. That's the swing that you have. Pull your hands in. Back away just a little bit. There you go. Swing down. Turn right, do it again. Okay. Now can you try to hit the middle part of the ball, but I still want you to swing down. Hit the middle part of the ball, but swing down. Okay, back up just a little bit. No, this way, there you go. Okay, I want you to swing down. Take your regular swing, try to hit the middle half, so you gotta swing down still, okay? Again. Hold on. Is that your normal stride and your normal load that you're doing right now? Do your normal stride, your normal load. Okay? You're still swinging down. There you go. Can you see how this, we're, we're trying to get rid of this? So th this collapse? So when we talk about swinging downhill, that's your shoulder ceiling, right? Mm -hmm. You're loading, or you're either going to be even or slightly down. But if you bring this side up, that means you dropped your hand. So now you've already collapsed. So now the barrel is already going to be behind you. Does that lead that shoulder sense? has to be down. Even or down? Even so, or down. Yeah, so when we say hitting downhill, that's what we're talking about. Now can you do me a favor? I want you to take a stride already. So take your stride, okay, your front foot's going to be even with the ball, stay right there, no, wider, a little bit further, go ahead, right there, okay, back up your back foot, one inch, your back foot, yeah, a little bit more, okay, now look where your front foot is, put it on the zero, put it right where the ball is, it's too far, your front foot, Vincent, look, See my front? Bring your front foot back a little bit. Front foot, see, see the zero right here? That's the zero. Right here, see it? 
Okay, take a stride. Okay, stay right there. Hold on for a second. Back your front foot up. I don't want you to be on the line. There you go. Okay, put your foot on the ground. Put it on the ground. Is your weight 50-50? Okay, stay right there. Now, we haven't loaded yet, okay? We haven't loaded. Sit down low. That's the position we want you in, okay? Let's do that again. Same place. You don't have to redo it. Just put your foot right down at zero. Back up your back foot a little bit more. Sit. Separate. Just hand. Right there. Foot. Very good. Again. See you later. Okay, guys. Thank you, Roger. See you next weekend. See you next weekend. See you Bye, Drew. Bye, Paul. Sit. Bring this elbow in. Right there. Separate. Stay right there. Quick heart. She's two. One more. Ready? Uh oh, get your feet straight. Are you on the zero? Back up your back foot. A little bit more. All right. Sit. Good. I like this being in. Right? The chicken wing. Separate. Sit right there. Okay, now listen. Now make your back foot and your heel come up like mine. See how my back feel? Stay right there. Now, everything's going to go together now. So now start to turn your back foot, turn it, turn it. This has to stay here. That's going to stay there. And this has to stay inside that ball. We don't want to get this part of the back. We don't want this part of the back ball there. you got to keep your hands inside as much as you can hit the big part of the bottom the corner. Okay? Alright, ready? One more time on this. Front foot on the zero. Okay, sit. Bring your chicken wing in. Hold on. There you go. Separate. Sure. Very good. Okay, now this time you're going to strive. I'm going to say one. You're going to land the same way that you were hitting it. Remember you were hitting in this position? I want you to land 50-50. So this heel's on the ground, this heel's on the ground. Look what it looks like. One, okay? He's been, just so you know, he's been practicing the one and the two and the Oh, swing. good, good, good. We'll, we'll go to that next. All right, ready? You need this? All right, bend your legs. Bring in your chicken wing. One. Stay right there. Where's your weight right now? It's got to be, put your heel on the ground. You should be 50-50. Weren't we in that position before? Okay. You know what 50-50 means? It means that your weight is equal. Equal. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Okay, sit. Look at the ball. That's right. Good. Do it again. Can you choke up just a little bit on the back? Yeah, just a little bit. Do you know what choke up is? It means, it means bring your hands up a little like that as well. Now, hold the back, like you're just like, yeah. okay, now, choke up means bring your hands up a little. Yeah, right there. Up. Yeah, just try it. Like that. Watch what happens. All right, ready? Remember, we're going to say one, you're going to stride to the zero. Ready? Chicken wing. One. Where's your weight? It should be centered. Are you centered? Are you standing up or are you sitting down? Sit. There you go. That's right. Very good. Do it again. I want to ask you this question. Whoops. Can you try to hit the curtain over here? This one right here. That curtain right there. Can you try to hit that right there? Right there. Yeah. Okay, back up your front foot. You're gonna strive, remember? So you gotta back up, there you go. I'll tell you when, chicken wing. One, sit. Where's your weight? 50-50, nod to the catcher's feet. All right, look at the ball. Swim. Okay, one more time. What size is that, Matt? 
27, the smallest one that I can find. Okay. Ready? One. Load your hands. Knob to the catcher's feet. There you go. Look at the ball. Go. Very good. That's it. You see how you have to get this really close to your body when you swing then? Yeah, you got. that's what you have to do. Because listen, if you get your bat this way, you're going to hit the ball that way. We don't want to hit the ball that way where the ball is now. Okay, can you do a one and stride with your heel up? So you're going to land on what? How many toes? Big one? Just one, right? Okay. You ready? Chicken wing. One. Did you load your hands? Load them. Okay. Where's your weight? Should be more back here. Yeah. I think you're on more than one toe. Yeah. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time on the strike. Okay? Ready? I want you to reach out this time. Chicken wing. One. Where's your weight? You're on your front side. Keep going back here. Whenever your heel's up, your weight's going to be back. Okay, now get your knob to the catcher's feet. There you go. Swing. Very good. Do that again. Chicken wing. One. Where's your weight? Do it again. Just step on your big toe. One. Keep your weight back. Where's your weight? You gotta reach out bigger than that, Griffin. Reach out a little bit bigger with your stride. Ready? Listen, when I say one, your foot's gonna go here and your hand's gonna go here. One. Yeah. Ready? One. Good. Look at the ball. Get more weight back here. Swing. Oh boy. Last one. One. Did you load your hands? Let's do it again. Make your hands move when your foot goes forward. Yeah? Ready? One. Where's your weight? More. Swing. Okay. Can you grab that bat right there? That's heavy. Is that heavy? Okay. <laughs> I want you to swing. Okay? Let's try this. I want to say, let's do one with your heel up. Okay? Ready? Make sure you load your hands. Chicken wing. One. Sit. Where's your weight? Remember, whenever your heel is up, where should your weight be? Should your weight ever be forward? Okay, so the worst it's gonna be is middle. Okay, let's try it again. I want you to reach out longer with your stride, okay? All right, ready? When I do this, that means I want your hands to go back. Ready? One. Where's your weight? There you go. Now swing. Very good. Yeah, it's okay. This is just a drill. Do it again. Remember, your weight's going to stay back. Ready? One. Where's your weight? A little bit. There you go. Now swing. Very good. Now get your regular back. So then, what's going to do? This up here. that stride can you see your whole self in here yeah. okay well guess what that's going to be now that's going to be your picture taking so when i say one and you're going to stride with your big toe with your heel up you're going to look in the mirror when i say two you're going to swing okay here you go here you go here you go 
All right. Get your stance ready. Look in the mirror and look what it looks like. Get your feet straight. Look in the mirror. Okay, that's where you want to start? Okay, tell me how you want to start. Okay, now, chicken wing. Okay, you can see that. Put your chicken wing out. You see what it looks like? Now bring it in. Okay, when I say one, which way are your hands going? Back. And what's your front foot doing? It's going forward. Okay, you're landing on one toe, the big one. Okay, are you ready? Look in the mirror. One. Look in the mirror. I don't want you to look down there. Do it again. Yeah, just look here. Ready? One. Where's your, there you go. Bend your front leg a little bit more. Make your hands. Is your knob to catch your feet? There. Now we're going to swing. Yeah. So remember, when I say swing, you can't take another stride because you already strided, right? Okay. There you go. This is the best way to simplify. We're only gonna do a couple more of these, okay? Chicken wing. You fix yourself. One. Good. Look at the ball. Go. One more time. Look. Fix. What are you gonna fix? One. Go. Okay. Can you take a regular swing now? Just take a regular swing. Swing it. I want you to swing it hard. Okay? You don't have to look now, but just look at your setup. So look in the mirror when you're just standing here first. Okay. Now you can go with whatever you want. There you go. I'm still not matching up this. Do you think you loaded? Are you sure? Positive? Okay. Now watch this. I want you to look in the mirror. See how you're making all your weight go back and it doesn't make your hands go back? So here's what I want you to do. When you start your hands and your foot, look here first. And then you get to look at the ball. Do you know what I mean, Vincent? Okay, so look here first when you start, then you gotta look quickly to the ball. Go ahead. Where's your weight? Okay, put your put your shoulder down this way. This way. You, this shoulder, make it go this way. Swing. Okay. Alright, regular swing. Regular. Just swing. Just swing. Don't even have to look no more. Just swing. Did you think that you loaded your hands? Okay. You see what I'm talking about? On the loading of the hand? What did you load that time, right? That time you loaded. Yeah. I think, I think the batting cage is still on. I'll tell you what. Okay. Now, can you come over here real quick? Come on. Uh, yeah, we're good.
One, two, three. Hold it, balance. Okay, one more time. Get in your stance. One, two, three. 